Hello creative designers, you have just created a contact form and when you try to, to send an email or when someone tried to send an email, he get this he get this error. And with just few setup, you find the the error is gone. Let's just try again. And you see it has been sent. This is the tutorial for today and we're just going to learn how to make this contact form send an email. And without further ado, let's get into action and I show you how. The first thing you need to do, you get to the dashboard, add on the dashboard menu, scroll to the where you have the button for the plugin and on how far we have these three options. Select the second option because we are going to install our new plugin. On this section here, you need to search for this plugin. It's a free plugin. It's called Easy SMTP. It's the plugin that we're going to use. You have so many options. Uh, you have so many options here that have been uh, delivered on on such the plugin that we're going to use is from uh, WP e commerce and uh, I like that a Fox C uh, the plugin is called is WP as MTP it, you can see it has uh, more than five uh, half a million active installation you can see it latent uh, out of 219 it has a four star rating we install the plugin after successful installation of the plugin we need to activate the plugin it's just that we need to set up the the plugin you can see it has uh, these features because I, I had already set uh, uh, reset uh, the plugin but I'll show you where you get all this info you need to go to the your dashboard uh, your cPanel dashboard on this section here you need to log into your cPanel dashboard close to where we have emails select uh, here you have the emails you may find that this uh this may be may be closed you need to click on this plus button if the uh if this column is closed and select email accounts uh, i have this email account created but you can also create one for you you all need to set everything there but i'm not going to create one for now because i have a few of them working I'm going to use either of these uh email setting so what you need to do is just select the you just select the, the the email account that you're going to use and click on these connected devices so on this one we are going to use the secure ssl uh, stroke tlc yeah so this is why you have the setting here ssl uh if you're using the one that don't have uh, the SSL. If you are using the one that don't, don't have this SSL, you can use uh, this that does not support SSL, but my mine support SSL. So first of all, you need to set from here. From the email address, you just need to copy this email address. Uh, this is the email address that you're going to use. So enter it here uh you enter from the name enter your name here i'll just use the one i did created reply to enter the email that you want your email to be replied to if you want to see say the email to someone else you can enter their email now here comes where you have smtp host this is the smtp host uh, uh select this one because it's uncommon or going the host is, is the same is mail.tiara.co.ke copy that one after that now type of inscription the type of inscription remember you're going to use ssl uh, stroke tls yeah here we have here we have it's a secure one uh, inscription so you select that one S smtp port we need to copy this number here smtp port because it are either outgoing or Come in, uh, copy this one, paste it here, 465, the other one, uh, most of the time SSL stroke TLS, use 465. As the, uh, SMT, uh, SMTP of the signation, you can click yes. The other thing is copy the username, this is the, this is the username here, copy it and paste it here. The password, when you're, when you're just creating a new email, account you will have this option let me show you where you have here you have the password the password that you used here is the password that you're going to insert here 
and it's just that all the next thing you need to do is you save the setting there then you have this additional setting you can check on them to not replace some field you can set all these but the next thing you need to do is you check if you're having an error let me just uh in Let's first of all try it the one we have just set it you see test mail was successful no error occur during the setting you find all everything here included so what if we had an error let me just put an error i just remove like that and i save the setting then i come back here and i try to send you find an error just uh, following an error uh, occurred, uh, occurred when attempted to send an email. So from here, you need to go back and set everything light. If you have an error, it can't work. And with just that, the next thing you need to do is save. So let me close here and we just do the final test. Good contact us and we try to send an email and with just that when I submit you can see thank you for uh, for your contact message so you can see it was being sent successfully I recently did a tutorial on how to create a contact form using a contact 7 uh, plugin I put the link on the description consider checking it out and remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more WordPress tutorials to follow. But how you set the email, uh, the ECWP SMTP, and you, are, you allow your website to set and communicate uh, using an email. Someone can use the contact form or even you when you're sending uh, the email, it's easy. The email will not going to be on spam section. Uh, but the lesson for today. And without further ado, let me just pile up with, with just one humble request to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because more WordPress tutorials are on the way. Thank you.